Welcome to another video. So, some days ago I covered how the DeepSeek V2 chat model was updated, and it's even better now. But now, they have also updated the DeepSeek Coder V2 model, and it's now even better. The new release is called the DeepSeek Coder V20724. They have also added fill in the middle capabilities, as well as function calling and some other quality of life features. Anyway, if we talk about the new updates to the model, let me tell you that although they have shared that they have updated the models, they haven't shared any new benchmarks for it. But multiple individual benchmark leaderboards have published their own evaluations on this new update. So, we'll look at them. And if I have to give you a heads up, let me tell you that it's now on par with Claude 3.5 Sonnet while being cheaper. Anyway, let's first look at the Big Code Bench leaderboard here. You can see that the new DeepSeek Coder V2 model is now in second position, sharing the same position with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which means that this new model is on par with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, at least in the benchmarks. Previously, the model was at position 7, as you can see over here. So, that's a really good jump from the previous iterations. And if you consider the price-to-performance ratio here, it's even better. Now, the next benchmark is also pretty amazing, because it's from Ader. So, Ader has published a new blog post about the new model's evaluation, and which model works best with Ader now. As you can see, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is at 77%, while DeepSeek Coder V20724 is at 73%. So, you can see that it's on par with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and insanely better than Llama 3405B and Mistral Large 2 as well. They also say that DeepSeek Coder V20724 was by far the biggest surprise and strongest code editing model, coming in second on the leaderboard. It can efficiently edit code with search replace, unlike the prior DeepSeek Coder version. This unlocks the ability to edit large files. This new Coder version got 73% on the benchmark, very close to Sonnet's 77%, while being almost 50 times less expensive. So, it's actually quite cool. And the best part about it that I can't stress enough is that it is insanely cheap as well. It just costs about 20 cents per 1 million tokens, which is much cheaper than even GPT-4 O-Mini, which costs 60 cents. So, it's really cool. The new model weights have not been released on Hugging Face yet, but they should get released in the upcoming days just like what happened with DeepSeek V2's new version. But we can actually try out this new model on their platform, which doesn't cost any money. So, let's check it out with my questions. These questions consist of both general and coding questions, so we can also see how capable it is in general reasoning and stuff. Anyway, let's get started now. The first question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three or nine. Here's the answer, and it doesn't answer this question correctly. So, this one's a fail. The next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Here's the answer from it, and it's correct as well. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Here's the answer from Deep Seek, and it also answers this correctly. So, this one's also a pass. The next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9.
This is the answer from it, and it doesn't answer this question correctly either. So, this one's a fail. The next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's see if it can make it. Okay, here's the code. They have also added an option to directly preview HTML files within the chat interface, which is quite cool, just like artifacts. Okay, this works fine, but I have seen better generations than it. And since it couldn't match the performance of its competitors like Claude, I'll mark it a fail. The next question is, write a Python function that prints the next 20 leap years. Reply with only the function. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. Let's run it. Okay, so this works fine. Let's keep it a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's see if it can make it. Okay, here's the code. Let's look at it. Okay, this looks fine. I mean, it has the parts that a butterfly needs. It's recognizable. So, I'll keep this a pass. The next question is, write an HTML page. This HTML page is a landing page for an AI CAS company. They prefer a modern and minimal looking interface with animations. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. Let's have a look at it. Okay, this looks fine. So, this one's also a pass. Now the last question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the code. Let's copy and run it. Okay, this works fine. So, this one's also a pass. Now here's the final chart. As you can see, it doesn't pass three questions, which is understandable because two of these questions that it didn't pass are language or math questions, which it is obviously not optimized for. In the confetti question, it was also quite close. Although, I would have liked it to pass this question. But it's fine as well. I really like this model even more now. Plus, it's super cheap for inference. And if you want to use it for personal uses, you can also use it free without any apparent limits on their platform, unlike ChatGPT. Let me know if you guys want me to use it with Ader, or if you want to co-pilot with it. Overall, the DeepSeek Coder V2 model was already pretty cool, and it's now even cooler. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.